Chapter 13a, section 13.4, Objective. We're going to distinguish between miscible and immiscible solutions. We're going to explain what like dissolves like means, and we're going to identify solvents that are miscible or immiscible in one another. So miscible or mixability, miscibility, is what is mixing. So for example, water and oil will not mix with each other. So this is known as immiscible. Alcohol and oil will mix with each other, so they are said to be miscible. So why does this happen? Like dissolves like is the rough rule for predicting whether one so substance will be soluble in another. This is typically going to be a liquid-liquid solution. It depends on whether or not the bonds are polar or nonpolar. So like dissolves like refers to polarity. So nonpolar plus nonpolar will be miscible in one another because they are like polarity. So nonpolar and nonpolar are miscible. So some examples of nonpolar solvents are going to be CCl4, carbon tetrachloride, CH5, CH3, toluene, benzene, gasoline. Um, and it, it's important to note that if you have an ionic compound, they are generally not soluble in a nonpolar solvent. So if you tried to dissolve lithium chloride, which is ionic, in toluene, which is nonpolar, it would not work. Ionic compounds do not dissolve in nonpolar solvents. So for example, if you had sodium chloride, table salt, plus vegetable oil, like at McDonald's on the french fries, you'll notice that the salt does not disappear when you pour it on the fries. It stays in crystals onto the french fries. Whereas if I poured salt onto spaghetti noodles, they would disappear because salt will actually dissolve in water. But salt will not dissolve in a nonpolar solvent such as vegetable oil. Liquid solutes and solvents. So what's mixing? Again, miscible is when liquids will dissolve freely in one another and immiscible is when liquids are not soluble in each other. So benzene and carbon tetrachloride are both nonpolar, therefore they will mix with each other. So they are miscible. Other nonpolar liquids are oil, fat, gasoline, and grease. Water is polar, and ethanol, which is a type of alcohol, is also polar, and so they will also be miscible with one another. So polar plus polar is miscible will work and nonpolar polar plus nonpolar are also miscible and they will work as well. Be careful because any type of alcohol, remember, is actually has both a polar and nonpolar side. So alcohol is going to actually sit the fence and it's going to dissolve in both polar and nonpolar solvents. Okay, and then immiscible is going to be if you have polar plus nonpolar then that's not going to work. So polar solvents will not dissolve in nonpolar solvents. Remember examples of nonpolar be any noble gas, diatomic elements, and more importantly for us, hydrocarbons. And I gave you a list, if you look back on the slides, things like grease, oil, fat, gasoline, etc. So kind of make yourself a nice little list of anything that's considered nonpolar. And then Polar typically would be things like water, ammonia, CCL3, CHCL3, things like that. So anything that we listed last chapter that would be considered polar is going to be in this category. And then nonpolar would be mostly the hydrocarbons for this chapter. Polar and nonpolar are immiscible, will not mix with each other.